Fried pickles. <laughs> okay. We're back. Kyle, you wanted to make a big announcement? Oh, did I? Yeah. Yeah. I, did I say big announcement? I just said say hey to everybody. Oh, okay. Hey. Well, no, say hey. Was- well, you you wanted to announce what what you why Chris Hansen got um, arrested for people were not. Aware. Oh, just just thirteen thousand dollars in in bounce checks. Um, oh, finance fraud. That's it. Yeah, well, he ba- he did a, well, his, his thing. Sure he, did, he didn't just bounce one check. He he went back to pay for it with another check, and then that check bounced. <laughs> Do you think uh, they told him to, to have a seat when, yeah, when they arrested wondering. him? Be like, come on, Anson, just have a seat. Take a wait, seat. Wait, he floated he floated bounce check payments with a bounce check. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's that's not. Yeah. He so was, he, uh, he turned himself uh, in. He wasn't like they went out and got him. He but. was trying yeah, to. Uh, he was doing it for for. Uh, he had spent it all on promotional items to promote uh hansen versus predator a new show he was trying to come out with but um apparently it didn't work out but uh chris hansen if you're watching this for whatever reason um you can come on and uh, to catch a non sequitur you can <laughs> we'll, we'll totally do that you know I, I could bring i could bring a chris hansen in here but it wouldn't be the right one so oh, wow just take a seat well take a seat there. fdic violation man you haven't heard that in a while i haven't heard that since ken hoven yeah, it's only, if, if it's over ten thousand dollars and you do it twice, they're probably going to come after you. But yeah. it, just, I sent you that email. Because you haven't heard it, doesn't mean that it hasn't happened. Has the conspiracy theory? Um, did you send him a? Uh, Which a link? one? No. I uh, okay, we'll send. We'll uh, Steve will send you a link here in just a second. Um, got from the last show, so uh, just watch your inbox for that. Uh, we, we'll who, who say hello. Sending it to? I put the uh, I put his email in the. In oh, the that guy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which um, channel are we streaming to? Got David's here. Uh, Trevor Valley's here. Uh, Cy, Dr. Cy Gart is here. Hello, sir. It's been a while since we've seen you. Hi, Kyle. Everything going okay? Yeah. Thank you. Good to see you. And uh, Godless Aussie. Good day. Good day. Very nice to meet you. What uh, what what kind of avatar is that? What is that? Oh, it's a, it's a new one from uh, nerdordie.com. Um, it's a demon logo. I, I did it specifically to piss off the Christians and Catholics. Sorry, Cy. Oh, <laughs> every so apologetic to Cy. Yeah, screw the Christians. Well, Sorry, Cy. Well, no, because Cy, because Cy is we love Cy. Cy is reasonable. Cy is sensible. Cy, yeah, yeah, exactly. Cy. So I will. I will apologize Cy. to people that are reasonable. Cy is open. open to evidence, and that's what I love well, about yeah. you, man. Yeah, but not that that crazy, basically. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and that's why I'm apologizing to you. You're one of the gang. Yeah. Hey, GA, how's the beginning of summer down there, eh? Yeah, I'm bloody hell. How's those it's fire like, tornadoes doing? Yeah, it's really bad down here, man. I'm, I'm, I'm melting. I mean, I, I've got a 100 degrees Fahrenheit temperature. What, what part of uh, Oz you in? Uh, Queensland. All right. Yeah, been there, done that. No, understand. Wow, right on. Well, hope you stay cool and stay away from the fucking fires. Jesus. I thought California was bad. Oh, I'll show you it doesn't exist. Everybody knows that. Yeah, it surely doesn't exist. Apparently, I'm just part of the hoax. Got sure. it. Okay, right. Yeah, that's right. You can't be upside down. You, you'd fall off the, you know. Whatever. Hanging on for dear life. I don't know how the hell they type or masturbate. It must be really difficult. Yeah, incredibly difficult. Yeah. So um, let's, uh, uh, Dr. Gart, do you want to kind of... Uh, Take us through what it was like for someone of your uh, academic and uh, professional background to watch. Well, I mean, you know, we went through it with George Lujak and a couple of other, and it's actually even somebody as respectable as Kent Hovind is pretty painful to watch. But um, this individual, uh, Dan, was uh, really uh, special. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, it. I, I guess one answer to your question is I, I'm getting very tired and very disturbed by this attitude of nobody knows more than anybody else. And what I know, because I've researched things, I've looked at mine and I, you know, I read the Bible and I have, it's just as much as what Trevor knows who has studied paleontology and, you know, actually understands things. And I, that's exactly the argument I got into with Lujak. And I just asked him, 
you know, if there was any such thing as an expert. And he kind of denied it. And I think that um, I, I started worrying at the very beginning when I heard him talking about pe people with degrees as a piece of paper, which is almost word for word what Lujak said. And, you know, it, it's, it's a, what it is, is it's a denial of the value of education. It's, it's a denial. And what, what he claims is that education, as we know, it is all a conspiracy. It's not, it's all lies. You know, that's a very um, subversive way of looking at, at the world. I mean, it means you really cannot trust anything or anybody. And I find that very depressing you know, as, as an academic. The other thing I find very depressing, which is one of the reasons I wanted to be here, is um, it's very depressing for a Christian to hear somebody like that. And I, I, I posted a little bit of a very famous quote from uh, St. Augustine on the live chat, uh, who basically cautioned people, you know, other Christians about sounding stupid. Uh, you know, and sounding foolish and, and looking really bad and making the Christian faith look bad. I mean, what he says is basically, uh, he talks about even a non-Christian knows something about the earth, the heavens and other elements. And he talks about other things, scientific. And then he says, it is disgraceful and a dangerous thing for a in infidel or a non-Christian to hear a Christian presumably giving the, the meaning of the scripture talking nonsense on these matters. And he goes on and on with that. I mean, this was written, I don't know, when was Augustine? <laughs> well, I mean, a long time ago. Um, uh, it was uh, in the uh, early fifth century. What, what astounded me about that entire chat is, you know, I've got my whiskey, <coughs> I've got my vaporizer, I've got, and I'm not sure of the efficacy of this statement, but I've got that uh, Canadian weed that turns you gay. I've got that. Gay uh, frog, gay frog weed. Yeah, the, the gay frog weed. I've got all that, and I was using pretty much all of it during the entire show. <laughs> and this, this guy didn't seem to be able to form a single coherent thought. Like he, he said that the natives said how, so they could count the fingers and make sure that if they had a sixth finger, they were giant. And how many? I, I was thinking, yeah, how many? And you know what? I was sitting there thinking, going, if I ran into a giant, I'd be like, holy fuck, it's a giant. Not like, how many fingers do you have? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, you know? I, I was, I, I, he was rambling so hard, but every time he said six fingers, I thought, Count Rugen? You know, from Princess Bride. It's like, yeah, yeah, I was My name it. is Inigo Montoya. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> I mean, I, I literally think the guy has ah. like mental issues. I mean, nobody could be that. Delusional. Issues, uh, issues, Steve. So, I mean, it's hard no. for me to like. Really he, doesn't, just... he doesn't have issues. He has subscriptions, man. Yeah, Not exactly. Just... He's got full on. <laughs> By the way, Dave, uh, is it true? Because um, Mario said the other day that Canada has like weapons grade mm -hmm. type pod. Is that true? Like, oh, right. Best yeah. drugs up there. It's, it's yeah. Good. Don't turn you gay as far as I can tell. It's that's that's really why I want to have some that's onset cough cravings or anything like that. So. I, I, dude, I looked into it. I, by the way, I can't get pot in my area. It's not legal in my area, believe it or not. California, man. I'm in California. All of Canada. Uh, but but <laughs> the, the county that I'm in hasn't uh, has decided that they don't want it in there. The closest I have to go would be either two hours north or two hours south. I don't think they have. Oh, wow. a, I don't think they get a choice in that. It's a oh, state. they have a choice. It, it, no, they have a choice. State one. Uh, local, California, local. yeah, California has a local municipality yeah. clause in that. Yep. That um, L.A. County is actually considering enacting, um, even though they really like the income. They're okay. looking at uh, seriously cutting back on the dispensaries here in L.A. County, um, and they're going to be using that uh, that uh, local municipality uh, clause. Wow, I, yeah, so, I know where you are now. So, okay, cool. I'm well, sorry. Everybody knows where I am. My address is public. Um, oh. But uh, the the, uh, the area does have uh, for medical, right? It doesn't have recreational yeah. for certain areas. Um, I'm near Menifee, Temecula region. Yeah. However, I will be in San Diego hopefully in a couple weeks. And uh, I might get some. Uh, San Diego, uh, when? Please don't say mid. Uh, on the 27th of January? Yes. 
Why you're available? Oh, I'm going sorry. to. I might. Me and uh, uh, Brittany Simon might take a little trip down to visit Richard Carey for a while. Uh, I may. Uh, uh, I'll, well. I'll let you know because that's not too far of a drive, and I've been meeting to head, uh, meaning to head to North Park and do a little bit more uh, beer research. Beer yeah. Research. Well, shit. I mean, you could drive down here. We, we could. You can carpool. I don't give a shit. You know, three of us can get out there and hang out with Richard. Now I can see awesome. seven. That so. way you can drink and you don't have to drive. <laughs> yeah, true. So, what are we arguing about today? Well, I don't know. Who's, who's, the, who's the conspiracist? Some there was this conspiracy. Mac thing. HD. Oh, hi. I don't know. I don't know. There, there's a lot of sketchy shit right now. Be more specific. Mac. Hi, Mac. Hey, what's good, though? Dude, you're in well, high definition. What we're arguing about is people yeah. like me. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, I'm beginning to feel like at least 70% of the people in the world are like that when it comes to believing about um, fake news and or certain hoaxes on the websites and stuff like that. I mean, it's just crazy, you know. No, it's it's altogether too common. That's that's what it is. But, you well, know, I have to be honest. I, I think, to be honest with you, though, I think the internet is the main problem for that. 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. I mean, yeah, you've you, yes. you allowed these people the, the opportunity to build these echo chambers and to share this misinformation with each other and to compound upon each other's beliefs. And it just, it just, they, they just stagnate and gets worse and worse. It's a fucking petri dish, really. Yeah. Well, a lot of the people that I've noticed, and I see this quite frequently, they, they, they're not going to have the skill sets somebody like Trevor or Cy will have, right? They don't even have the capability to go learn anything. They're just not that bright. And I think they latch um, onto these things thinking that they, you know, have some knowledge that you, the normal person doesn't have. And they take it to heart because they don't have the skill set to, to eliminate falsities in their in their belief system they don't have this, the skill set to say yeah this is obviously complete bullshit because i do know something because i did get educated they just lack that and i think a, a lot of people just see what they read on the internet and go you know it sounds good have, to me it must be true have we said hello uh, to these uh the new people that, that came in uh, no. i haven't yet to tell hello, mr mac curtis yet. oh uh, we got mac you can call me so Thomas. For the Mr. purposes of YouTube, oh, I there's am. Another, there's another Mac. Uh, there's another Mac, Thomas Mac. We have you, but we also have uh, regular Mac. You can call me Tom. Regular Mac. Hey, Mac HD, you're regular Mac. Uh, so we have uh, Mac and Tom, okay? Uh, hello to both of you. Frustrated Atheist, what's up? Um, Not much, man. Brandon? I don't, um, think, I don't think we've met. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just uh, kind of nervous right now because it is such such an honor to meet you mr curtis and oh. you too Mr. how, how I, much I, you pay this just, guy <laughs> i always get nervous when people are that nice because I'm like, oh, he's trolling yeah me. Chill. i was raised to be i was raised to be a gentleman he's trolling my mother raised me to be a gentleman uh, well it's a it's a it's a pleasure to meet you as well um uh, and then brandon i already don't like him Brandon, can you hear? Uh, is, is Brandon, are you our conspiracy person? No, he's not. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, okay. No, well, I, um, I might. Hold on. Fuck. Hello? Okay. All right. Why? Who is your conspiracy person, Kyle? Right? The email that, the email that I sent you. Ooh, oh, that was, wait, wait, wait. Huh? Hang on. That okay. was. To, yeah, that was Brandon's. Brandon, you got to fix your mic. <laughs> you said you fixed it like yesterday, a couple days ago. Brandon's like, I got a new mic. <laughs> Still doesn't work. Um, Mac HD is the person I gave the email to, but he's not a conspiracy guy. Um, I gave you another coming through. Okay, guys. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I don't know who the conspiracy guy is. I'll see if I can find him. Anyway, carry on. Well, well Mac um, can pretend well, to be. Mac HD. Let's talk about I can pretend to be. Uh, I can give my best. I can do my best Southern Israel impression. Thomas, how did you find us? How did I find you guys? Mm -hmm. The non sequitur show. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. It. That's a long story. I'll just say this. It all started when I started like looking into like pseudoscience stuff. I just randomly found it. Uh, I started with Professor Stick and. You know, slowly I started looking more and more into it. I found some other guys, Red's Rhetoric, Cool Heart Logic. Um, there are a few others. Um, All good dudes. Their names escaped me. Uh, but eventually I found you guys, like, because I was started, like, looking up a lot of Red's Rhetoric stuff. And then I found his debate with, hit, with uh, Jaronism on Friday the 13th. 
And ever since then, I, I've been watching ever since learning about the debate format, learning how to spot, uh, you know, true science from pseudoscience. You know, uh, my main interests are um, creationism, flat earth, and other forms of rather bizarre conspiracies. Oh, well, you're right at home then. Yeah, we rarely <laughs> follow the actual debate format, though. I like how you put that, though, learning how to distinguish between actual science and pseudoscience, because I think that is something everybody should learn. And we all are learning in that matter of fact. I think even if, even most of us occasionally probably hear something in a first glance, we go, is this legit or not? Come to find out it is legit or kind of find out it's pseudoscience. But most of us have reached a point where we can go, hmm, let's check into that. Right. And I think that's critical. I think a lot of people don't do that. They just hear something and they, they yep. believe it. Ask people well, if, if, I'm not, if they can be wrong. If, if somebody says that there's no way they can be wrong about that, then they're crazy. They're most definitely wrong, Mr. Uh, Kyle. Very crazy. Um, I, I will say, my, my, I don't know if you call it a, cha a channel. I barely have anyone who watch me. It, it's mostly like, um, like video games. That's is why I have the name uh, Professor Games. But, um, you know, eventually I decided to come out, uh, pardon me for pulling a Logan Paul, but uh, came out of the skepticism closet and decided to be more open about this. And support you guys openly. Oh, you're you're Professor Games. You you comment a lot. Mm -hmm. I know you are. Yeah, now. I love you. I love your work, guys. I just love your work. I try my best to be a good. Um, I hardly would call it work. <laughs> yeah, I, it's always strange when people say that we love your work, and it's like we make videos. <laughs> well, we talk um, about I, shit. I, I don't. Well, know. You um, just love watching these guys get tortured. Yes, I, I do. Do yes. I do. <laughs> Oh, uh, if, it's any, if it's any sentiment, I I suffer with you guys. Um, Trevor, uh, may I just say something to you, sir? Of course, you're here in the. Chair. I am ad I completely, <laughs> utterly admire your ability to to handle that man. I I was tuning out most of the time because he just it, it was literally just like hearing a big fat monkey beat his chest <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> was it worth it, Trevor? I mean, did you, did you feel like I know you went into this? We had talked a little bit prior to it, and you went into it with a lot of hopes and dreams and aspirations. Do you feel like you accomplished what you set out to do and? Uh, or do you feel like you're just kicking the retarded kid at that point? Um, well, no, I mean, I knew I would, I, I knew it was a one-sided fight to begin with, but my, yeah, let's be honest, right? Kyle knows how to handle a man. You were handling something entirely different. I was handling uh, a snarling boar at close quarters without a boar spear. Yes. Um, and I've done that. It's not fun. I've done that actually like hunting and not fun. The fester like, whisperer. Um, <laughs> um, so, but, um, but um, uh, Trevor, I, I'm. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I um. So my, like I said at the very end, my ultimate goal that I actually didn't even say via DM with uh, uh with the non sec guys was to. This was a litmus test personally for Dan to see if he was as unhinged live where he couldn't pull. Reference. I, I I thought live where he couldn't pull references, but fucking crap. The guy had like printouts and shit in his car. In um, his car. Uh, Trevor, <laughs> like, like, um, since you are a <laughs> wow, uh, Trevor, since you're a paleontologist, yes, and I actually do know a little bit about paleontology. I think I can make a very compelling case that he might be the very last of the Neanderthals. Um, because no actually, regular human being is that aggressive. Actually, um, I think I have more Neanderthal DNA than he does. If you look closely, I do have a pronounced, I have to turn it like that. I have a pronounced brow, brow ridge. I don't have much of a chin. That's why I have the beard. And I actually have a very pronounced sagittal press. Um, I'm on, very jealous of your beard. I, all I can grow is a goatee. This, this is short compared to what Although, it used to be. Yeah. Yeah, Trevor, I was about to say, you know, I got really, whenever I saw this was happening, I was like, yes, it's going to be amazing. And I saw you come on, and my very first response in the chat was, oh, my God, Trevor, where the fuck is your beard? Uh, okay, so <laughs> two years ago. Uh, I, I have yeah. no, I, I'm seeing Sean Hawkins in the chat. I have no idea if this guy likes me or hates me, honestly. <laughs> um, <laughs> from, from, wait, from, what? Wait, what? Brandon, you're, wait, like, Brandon. lighting up and like echoing me that's thank you uh frustrated um so yeah. long story short uh 2016 broke up with the ex died at neon yellow went on joe rogan started you know died it for hockey season uh shaved it for november grew it out did the same thing last year 
this year I kind of went, yeah, fuck it. And yeah. yeah, so I started short and now I'm just growing it back. But I will, and I promise you, and I make this promise on the non sequitur after show, that it will get back to its luscious chest length insanity and will be a neon color, hopefully by September when I go back to Dragon Con. But um, that would be awesome. Dragon Con. <laughs> Never, I do have to say that. Well, Edgeboss be at Dragon Con. You know, there's a we have a guy that calls us out oh, all the time. Sweet yeah. mother of Lord. It's actually not, there's not mountains in Africa. Those are the fossilized remains of a dragon that he found <laughs> from. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I am actually a, uh, I am a guest speaker at Dragon Con this year. Uh, you ever, I, you ever, nice, I, nice, Jim. Uh, I, I'm usually an invited guest. I just haven't sent in my application yet. I was slacking because I had a bunch of shit. Was that, I guess I do it, man. Now. Is, was that dragon a Titan wing? I'm going to show you. 50 bucks to the first person who guesses what movie that is from. I'm going to show you. 50 bucks. Have you ever I have no idea. That a good percentage of the time when a guest is talking and Kyle interjects, it's to say essentially... Oh, you think that's crazy? We have somebody that you could talk to that's absolutely painful. Hold my beer. Uh, Hold my beer. Can I just, can I just, uh, I just, oh, God, don't get me started <laughs> on trigger tits. I actually had a, a quote unquote discussion about with him about the Civil War. Oh, my God. I wonder how I am still sane. Wait, Tom, are you serious about the whole Titan Wing thing? Because it's how to train your dragon, duh. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, pal, Trevor Valley at gmail.com. Um, <laughs> uh, by the way, Nightwing Master, Night Fury Master Dragon. <laughs> okay, so um, here Sorry, is. Nerd moment. <laughs> here is the, the, the dragon. Where am I looking? Oh, Christ. I got pulled up. Oh, here it is. Screen sharing. Here it comes. Oh, for the love of the ethereal sky daddy, don't do this to oh, me. No, not, this, not this one, not this one, not this one. Holy, holy <laughs> shit, is that a dragon nut? That's hey, a dragon. No, that's a bird. Oh, that's, that's, his, oh that's his wing. <laughs> that's a wing. Which, <laughs> wait, where the hell? Oh, God. It actually, it actually looks like a, a, it actually looks like a wing. Oh, Christ, now I'm crazy. Wait, are you, are, is this a, vi- wait, is this a video that you're doing and scrolling or is this guy? No, oh, this crazy. is him. Oh geez, can you pause it so I can at least see a geologic feature, please? Yeah, I'm 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 waiting for him to pull like pull out so that you can you can see. The, right now, he's just going through every little detail of the. Uh, hey, this is the only way the ant can travel the flat Earth. It's either full blast or nothing. Oh God. Uh, I wish he would hurry is up. This, and... Is this is this literally is this literally as low as the flat Earth movement will go to okay. even? Oh no. Out? Something to talk about. No, no. Oh, this is god. actually as high no, as like a body. Oh my god, he's okay. taking highlighting okay. places. Hold on. Wait. Let me do this. I'm gonna I just gotta say this. You gotta pause it right there. Look at that. That's a human head. Oh, you missed it. You can I see just the eye, say the nose, I the see whole... a butterfly. I, I see a vagina. <laughs> it's I, a bird. It's I, a bird. No, it's a fucking mountain. I see a mammoth too. It's a George Washington. It looks like this. Is it George Washington's? What's, what's, what's oh, I hilarious? Like there, I, 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 he uses Google Earth to um, oh, to show this, wait, 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 to, to like show this this dragon, and uh, he's a flat earther. So I, that to me, I just think is fantastic. wait. He uses Google non sequitur at its yeah. best. There, oh, oh, most detailed glow. Oh God! This this guy's stupid. This so, guy's beyond stupid. So you can oh you God. can immediately how's, how's, you can immediately cross him out because he uses Google Earth, which immediately shows a globe. So it's part of the conspiracy. So everything it's on part of the, Earth must part be of the Illuminati lizard yeah. people yeah. NWR conspiracy. Why? Okay, uh, here we go. Look. All right. All right. If we're looking at this uh, from from what I take it, if if we're if we're looking at this picture of um, Africa, right? Is he talk- is he talking about the erosion nonconformity in Algeria right there? How do I how do I like spin Africa around? I, I, I oh, think God. he is, Trevor. I think he is. There we go. Um, <laughs> if he's talking I, about I, the Saharan nonconformity, then just use the little compass style, Kyle. Here, uh, um, here's the dragon. Okay, you see it? Here's yeah, his wing. Oh, he, no, the, oh, he's talking about that. I thought he was talking about the one uh, south of Algeria. The, that's the. Uh, that's uh, that that we'll we'll get to in just a second. That's he sent me an email on this. 
uh, this week. This is something new that he's discovered. But um, the dragon is uh, the wing juts out right here. Can here are the slightly. legs. See them jutting out here? Yeah. The tail wraps down and around here. And then um, where's the eye? Does anybody know exactly where the eye of the Sahara is? It's here, right? Yeah. Do you want to okay. know? Oh, I, re yeah, I remember the right eye. There. The yeah. eye is right there. You guys, yeah. you guys right. want to know what I honestly thought when I first saw that Eye of the Sahara thing? I wish I could bring it up, but... What? Luckily, I'm sane enough to know pareidolia, but it looked to me like the hypnotizing eye of the snake. You, you know that thing, it, that snake well, in the Jungle Book? It's a... It's, 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 that's what it reminded me of. It's actually not that. What it is, and, and what this... I swear to this is not a, this is not a lie. What he claims it is is uh, if I could spin this around where I had it the other oh, way. He, he, was a, he, said it was a, he said it was a fish eye or some what shit. Is it, why does what he leave an actual man in the moon? I mean, what's uh, the it's a, It's a, uh, it's a, um, it's a, I didn't, that just turns me one way. There, um, now, now pivot. Okay, so this right here is actually a fish that the, that the, the dragon was in the middle of consuming when he died and uh, they were both fossilized together. So here's the eye of a fish. There's the mouth oh, of the fish. What was it swimming in? <laughs> and it goes up. up I, maybe it was swimming in the eighth. It, it was clearly it swimming in the flood. Right? I'll, give you a, swimming I'll, give you another, uh, I'll give you guys another thing here. If you have a globe-sized flood, clearly you can have globe-sized fish. Uh, you know what? Do you know what people believe this is now? I think it's, I still think it's a snake. They think they think that this is Atlantis because the story of Atlantis talks about oh for the, oh, uh, the rings within oh, rings within rings and uh, concentric circles. Yeah, they say that there is uh pr like all of this right here is proof that water once flowed into this inner ring. All of these like striations around the uh, the edge. So it perfectly describes the story of uh, what they put in uh, Atlantis and that there was water Kyle. that once flew in from. This is not me. This is not me. This is not me. No, I'm, I'm, I know it's not you, Kyle, but I'm just going to tell you this right now. I'm only 19. I cannot have any alcohol right now, dude. So take it easy on me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. I can't have alcohol at 19. Over here, it's 18. Uh, Kyle, is that the Orwaxes crater? You bastard. The what? Is that the, is, that, is that the Orwaxes crater in Algeria? No, that's a. Uh, I don't know what they call it. Actually. It's the eye of the. Yeah, that's the only thing I know is the, as the uh, the eye of the Sahara. Oh, because the Orwaxis crater is a Cretaceous crater in Niger uh, in northwestern Algeria. Um, whoa, I'm. Well, wait, hold on, uh, Trevor. It's about to get even better. Now, on his latest video, he says, "Here, non sequitur, fight the flat Earth. Time to man up." All right, guys. So let's man up. Let's see what he's. Uh, <laughs> All right, oh, can I join in on this? Can I join in on this? I have I have screw all no uh, experience in debunking flat earth, but I don't think you need amazing credentials for you it. You don't. Well, here we go. You don't. Now he has found a he has found a giant eagle, a fossilized giant eagle. Now here is its beak as it sticks up out of the ground. See how it it curves here. So here is its, <laughs> is its beak. You Here's know, the top Kyle, of its I understand head. all that, but you have to tell me this. Why didn't that eagle just drop the ring into the mountain Morador, you know? like. Well, uh, uh, he hey, even included uh, wait, pictures wait. Of, of, of eagles just how in case we forgot. How, but how the dense fish? was the eagle? Because how dense it was, it depends on how fast it fell back onto the earth. Do you, see the, uh, do you see the feathers here? <laughs> the, the, the fossilized fine detail feathers? No, really I see surface erosion. Oh no, there's, 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 well, Trevor, yeah. Trevor, 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 you are like using your brain. You're using your brain. I'm gonna need you to stop using that in order to see this. Now, okay? now watch this. Uh, watch this realign guy. your chop. Wait, okay, okay. okay. He just pulled up Quetzalcoatl. He just pulled up Quetzalcoatl. Okay. Um now, what now, the sweet shit. Now watch. All right. So while well, here well, is watching. that here is that image. Here's the here's the face right here. See see That's the nose. Speech. The nose. He's <laughs> Bent down. There's his leg. His leg here. He's uh his hand here. Um. So he has literally found this too in the mountain range. Wait. Or, I don't. Uh, but wait. I don't. But I don't see that Mayan god. You don't. See, okay. All right. No. Wait, no I see wait. Lance Armstrong right. huddled over and waving toward his title. 
Whoa, 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 I know, but I don't see that. I see Lance Armstrong on a bicycle. So if you does he understand that? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Trevor's uh, right. The image are, are you sure that's not? Are you sure that's not? Are you sure that's not uh, Neil Armstrong on a bicycle? No, no, it's definitely Lance. Lance. <laughs> no, it's Lance. Lance. Clearly, it's about the nose. Yeah, it's, it's always it's all it's about the nose. Um, I can't see. I can see Jack Diddley squad. Maybe it's because my chakras aren't aligned or some whatever. The, Fuck spirit science would say. Steve, Steve, does, does he Steve not, again, uh, you're using your brain. You're going to need to stop using that. For a moment. Can anyone hear me? Hang on, hang on. I need to open up yeah, my my, ester- my. I need Anybody? to open up my core chakra with deep within my anus. Uh, no, I need to make a joke. Ah, uh, now I can do it. Oh wait, I think that's, oh wait, I think that's just diarrhea. Who is now, this guy? It, it doesn't. Uh, here's another video where he calls us out. It doesn't just stop there. Um, here he sees things in. Uh, well, where is he? Get him in here. Oh, oh, he's ready to talk now, guys. Hey, right, so who is oh, this? Yeah. Uh, who yes, is I'm this a guy? Dragon Ball Z nerd. I'm not talking. I'm sorry. All right, see, uh, here, here's here's the eagle right here coming for us uh, in the um, nope. in the uh, in the sky. There's his wings here, the front of who? his face. What? Who's he's this guy? That image is mirrored. That's a mirrored image. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that's that's, that's part of this, that's part of this thing. You have to do that. In order to find the truth, you have to mirror part of the uh, the images. Can we just take five minutes to mourn the three brain cells I lost listening to this? I hardly <laughs> knew them. Oh, look, see, here, here's another picture of this, this mirror, but this shows a uh, uh, the hey. face of a, uh, a woman. Here's her eyes, her nose, her like uh, hair, head dressing here. I see a dragon. I, I see a flying raccoon. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to I, it. Go back to it. You want to know what I saw? So I'm, I'm not going to lie. A typhoon. I that's another, that's another dragon. That's another sky dragon. Sure. I need to send a sky oh medical God. bill. Oh, for God's. Oh, so, you know, oh look. Go back, there's a good can we one. go back to shit? <clears throat> can we, there's a good can one. We please go that's, back to That's a dragon. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to find it, Tom. Hold on one second. No, oh. that that's fire dragon. Yeah. Mm, no, that's it's a monstrous nightmare. Like a Pikachu fire dragon. They threw the gold no, ball. No, that, 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 no, 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 no. that is Mewtwo. It's Pokemon Go set on fire by Charizard. That is a that is a Cinder Llama. Everyone knows that. That is a Cinder Llama. What Cinder? Cinder Llama. Oh fucking hell. I'm trying to find that. Pokemon. What? Um, I don't know where that picture went. There, that right there, right there. Oh, that skull. Moon. There it is. That it's about a turret. Threw off, threw off my groove. Actually, you, know, actually what it kind of, you want to know what I see right there? It's about a turn. And it's just because it might be just because I I was I got so busy looking at uh, at Shenron earlier. You can go back and watch it. One of the dragons from Dragon Ball. To me, it looks like Cell from Dragon Ball Z. I'll like tell you what it is. Form. This is the part where I go <laughs> Let me tell you honestly what it, what it is. What it is is um, it's the moon when NASA forgets to uh, inflate it. Inflate it. This is a. Uh, a <laughs> we ran out the uh, the bottom. Uh, of it. Oh no, grand grandfather dumbass was right. What is what is what is this that he's circling? I don't know what he says. Let's let's find out. Oh no! Please no. Um, well, hold on. And um, I need to send. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! A bear. A bear. <laughs> what? There's another dragon. Bear my actually is it a fire when, I the, when I look a at fire, when I look at horse. Like fire dragon, we got bears wait, and dragons. Wait, wait, now, go back, now, go back. Look how look how dis- look how desperate we get here. Oh no. What is he? Now look, this this guy literally takes pictures of anything with smoke or anything like that and goes like through them like like this, looking for what he's doing is he's act it's paradoia because he's looking actively looking to find a pattern. And as soon as something that uh you know, contour. This is in his house, by the way. He's uh, he's taking pictures. Uh, of his... uh, is yeah. he like yeah, taking okay. pictures uh, of the smoke of all the drugs that he smoked beforehand? Like, I need those drugs. Hey, that that looks like getting high just looking at that. That was definitely uh, yeah. that's crack smoke. 
I just got see, sober looking at all this. <laughs> you see, you see, my brain tells me that's the pareidolia effect. But cool. um, since he doesn't use his fucking brain. It's it's got to be whatever the fuck he says it is. Well, ask Steve. Um, he actually did a video where he uh, was it was it dust Steve that he was yeah. looking for stuff in. What yeah, dust. Manner. What? In, oh my god, what, dust. Yeah. What? This, this what guy happened? What, legitimately, what mm -hmm. happened to this guy? He got too much. Okay, this on. this this has to be one of the ones that is just looking for looking for press, playing the LARP, doing whatever the fuck. <laughs> Chan talk it is he sees a website that gets traffic or a YouTube channel that gets traffic and he wants to go after it just to promote his own shit. No, nope. I would I think he didn't want to he didn't want to come on at first. Uh it yeah, took forever really to get guys want do you guys want to know who, who he kind of reminds me of? And Trevor, I'm so sorry if you get triggered this. He reminds me of Joe. You remember him from a while back? The dinosaur guy. Joe, the, Guy that didn't believe I was thinking more of the, and the guy who didn't believe in viruses. Yeah. Oh, and you mean know, um yeah. uh Joe uh, with his start, his last name starts with a C, the Twitter idiot. Um, no, not I just call him Poe from no, now. No, no, you're not. You're thinking. Oh, of he, he was on a show with you, Trevor. Yeah, Remember, I'm, I'm he, thinking Sinkowski. Yeah, not Sinkowski. That's a different idiot. But he was on a show with you when when you talked to the the people who didn't believe in dinosaurs, the Christians against dinosaurs, and um, oh, that guy that yeah, the viruses don't exist, guy. Yeah, that that yeah, guy um, that. No, that that guy was that was just looking looking for attention. Yeah, David, was, are you going to share any of that? Because uh, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, that guy was that that guy was a garbage fire. So is um, against dinosaurs. I mean, they're they're just. But um, I just fucking. I just want to say one thing about the. I, I just want to say one thing that I have to congratulate on Trevor. That debate was what was it four months ago? I, don't I haven't. He hasn't just posted anything on his channel in three months. It's like he completely gave up the ghost. The guy completely. You retired him. <laughs> Cheers. Does anybody ever get beat up so bad where they they just say I, I just I'm done with this? Uh, Master. Uh, I yeah. mean, I know like Wayne. We have Wayne. Wayne's changed his position, but he wasn't. He didn't throw his hands up in the air and go. Pff. Wayne, yeah. are you an atheist yet? No, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, you're getting close. He's close. <laughs> Join the dark side, man. Um, <laughs> we are right. cookies. Just, it ain't just, so dark, though, really, though. Um, since you brought that up, uh, uh, Steve, might I ask you one little thing? Go ahead. I'm just getting knots out of my hair. People want to know what I'm doing. I got <laughs> what, is, what is this amazing. thing you talk it's about amazing. hair, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, um, you know. Anyway. It's more um, of a Trevor, name. Yeah. Trevor, it's like, what grows like, on your face. Oh, got it. Okay. I like. Okay. But, I mean, this is just going to be a quick, and then we'll get back to what we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, so nice. my, I like interchangeably use the terms like atheist and agnostic, depending on oh, no. who no. I am. No, 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 they you almost ended up it for the 500th time. I'm so <laughs> sorry, sir. Please forgive me. Oh, my Please God. Me. I, I broke out in a rash, and I'm twitching now. Don't ever do that. <laughs> right? Steve, 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 it was fine. It's going to be science time. related or something, you know? Okay, yeah, okay. I like, like Dan science. trying to explain. Um, I have a couple of – It was funny, I'll, Dan. I'll try to ask. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, uh, Trevor, um, yeah. if it's all right, I'd like to ask you a couple of things, and these were – please – Feel free yeah, to go for it, correct me on anything I get wrong, but um, I am like hear about and looked up a couple of things on uh, like the the um the ability to and forgive to the um the terminology, but reverse evolution, and I use air quotes when I say that, but basically because of how related many um bir modern birds are to avian dinosaurs, in fact, birds are technically are dinosaurs. They're yeah. just not the ones we're used to. Right. It's I've heard that it's like theoretically plausible to like activate those old avian dinosaur genes within certain birds, like giving, like almost kind of like reversing the process and giving them they, those they more have. dinosaur traits. Uh, yeah, no, they, they, they have. they've they've already done that. Um, let me pull it up. Uh, uh, yeah, they've they've actually uh, uh, had birds grow dinosaur teeth. Yeah. And uh, and and Dr. Gart, you could probably um, speak. That's right up your alley. 
Yeah. Well, a great background what noise. Brandon just said is right. They've done it. It can't be done for every gene, though. It can be done right. to some and not others. It depends on the well, very complex well, interactions of the various genes. So, uh, just, yeah, just, it can be done. Right, right. But, I just but, find but, it but very, in, in very... order to in order to activate it to where that gene is expressed, it has to be extremely, right. extremely close. Right, right. It's well, the I mean, whole, but the, that's... the whole system of gene activation is incredibly complicated, and there are some things you can do and some things you can't. And uh, but there's a there's a lot that can you know you, I mean we have things called humanized mice which are basically mice with that have some human genes inserted and and then they're used for various research purposes but there's a lot that can go on weren't weren't the there were there were six six genes that express teeth in avians that are all active in allig uh, alligators and crocodilians but not in birds so it's the birds yeah. that are closest the birds that are closest to the split have those uh, right. more easily activated. Like I don't remember if it was six, but uh, I used to know, but I forgot now. So it's, it's there's a few, I just, yeah. I could be wrong, but I, I feel I just, like I've seen something in a TED talk where they were saying they could reactivate the teeth in, in chickens and like the tail or something. Yeah, so yeah, that, that, all, that was all caused because of paleontology's best friend, paleontologist Jack Horner, otherwise known as the Jurassic Park paleontologist. Um, he did an entire paper, it was an opinion piece, about um, reverse engineering a dinosaur called the Chickenosaurus. And <laughs> to be quite honest- it Reminds me of uh, the Chickenosaurus project. About, I is it all bullshit? Because like- No, I, I didn't no, it, it can, it can- Well, let him tell you. Yeah, it can actually, <laughs> it can absolutely be done um, with newer and newer CRISPR technologies. There is, an ability to express genes uh, on and off much easier through gene splicing, CRISPR, and through um, mapping mapping of a genome. The thing is, it's not going to take the short amount of time that it's going to happen. Cy, by all means, step in on this. Um, anytime somebody says, oh, we're going to have a mammoth or a chicken with teeth, or that like walking around, not just like an embryonic chicken with teeth, but like a full birth chicken teeth tail, the whole fucking thing. When they say, when they say 10 years, times it by five, man. Um, but In Sung Wang, uh, In Sung Wang is a very good friend of mine. He is one of the leading Korean geneticists in charge of the Mammoth Project in South Korea. And numerous times when Wang Woo Suk, the, uh, the disgraced Korean geneticist says, we're gonna have mammoths in 10 years. I get emails from him going, I can't do this anymore. We're nowhere near that. Um, you know, that's interesting because, like, some stuff that you see on TED Talk. Uh, you gotta, ah, random. Uh, ah, random. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my dear. There we go. Um, you got to kind of take with a grain of salt because, I mean, I've also seen, like, the, uh, the woman that came on and talked about aquatic apes. And I think that's been pretty thoroughly debunked. So, like, that causes my hands to hurt. a really interesting idea, <laughs> but. You're not sure, you know. What is aquatic apes, uh, Trevor? Yeah, he asked about the other day, and I, I, I only I've heard, vaguely remember. I heard of this theory, but I didn't remember the details on it. So I, if anybody remembers, what's the detail? Yeah, I, I know. I know forgive that me. Okay. So forgive me. I'm get, I'm just gonna pull it up real quick because I want to get it exactly right. I'm a little. I didn't bother to Google it, so I, I did it. Right. Um, I, I have the link bookmarked. Yeah, something transition, um, but so uh, the aquatic ape hypothesis is that. Um, ancestors, let me get the exact thing. All right. Okay. That's Trev. Yeah. Um, ancestors of modern humans are more aquatic yeah. and as such were habitual waders, swimmers, and divers. So what it is, is that our bipedalism came from wading and swimming, not from standing up to look over grasses or for tool use or anything like that. The interesting thing is that a lot of the pre-humans, again, I'm not a paleoanthropologist, just a paleontologist, these hominid shit get all weird. Um, none of those were really near any standing water that was around at that time. So that's kind of a lot of bullshit. It's, um, yeah. it's have you ever heard of, a, you ever heard of uh, 
uh, the the yeah, gym. Yeah, trying to say that's why yeah. we're hairless. Trevor, all that. I know that's yeah. I know yeah, that's that's why we have hair in our backs. It, uh, it's, Trevor, it's actually sort of a cult. I found yeah. out when I first heard about it. It seemed to make some sort of sense. I wasn't really. I'm not an expert on that either, but it seemed to make some sense. And and then it got weirder and weirder. And at one point, yeah. I actually, along with a bunch of other scientists, got a survey which purported to be about general evolution, but it turned out it was it was some kind of a of a con game about trying to get you to agree with the aquatic age theory. And it yeah. was very because scientists don't do that. So I was very <laughs> very confused with what was going on. Uh, no, Trevor, have you, Trevor, have you heard of uh, have you heard of the uh, the the Jim Majors theory? What the hell? Majors theory. What stoned ape, I think is the other the other <laughs> oh yeah no i've yeah oh. the the well i mean that eh, that sure. that's that's possible because there no. there, are, there are species I'm, I'm not saying that it happened but um i'm sure that at some point some random common ancestor ate something it shouldn't have and went fuck yeah. up yeah I you think know, it's that's, possible. That's, a, that's yeah. a real no, but that's a real thing the, it's the totally a real that, thing yeah, the idea yeah, that it's psychedelic yeah. somehow Yes, they were eating, well, they were eating rotten apples but, um, from the ground. Yeah. Elephants, elephants um, get drunk. And that's how they. That's how we got, you know, ADH because we 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 have to be able to metabolize the alcohol. And right. the yeah. apples were just lying there, so these uh, uh, ancestors Trevor, I, I, allowed I, I, were eating them. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And right. And, and, and our, yeah. our our ancestors, I'm sure, really sucked at identifying fungi and and other you know poisonous plants. So I'm sure that they ended up you know getting sick a lot. So you know the bodies. Break. They just, just want to get high. Give them a break. I mean, well, that at least now potheads have an excuse it's in our genetics or some shit. But um, um, sure, I hey, I have glaucoma. Yeah. Bye. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Tom. Okay. You're an ex. Yep. I, my apologies. Um. Now, Trevor, I find this very. I'm just gonna say it right now. I find science so incredibly fascinating. In fact, I went into college at first with environmental science. Nice. Oh. Things were not going too well. Like my um my te my professors were a little off the uh were a little unorthodox and things just weren't clicking. So I'm going into individual studies, which I'll use to a four year degree in history. Mm -hmm. I find history also very fascinating. But I also love I just love science. I've loved science ever since I was a little kid. I was a huge MythBusters nerd when I was a kid. Still am honestly. I would you know because it it really spiked my interest in the scientific method and how our world works and just looking, you know, deciding, you know, if you have an idea, put it to the test. And, you know, if you're wrong, retest it, see, see what will work and, you know, put your ideas up to scrutiny. Right. It was, I think that played a big part in me learning how to think more scientifically because again, I was a kid. I was, it just clicked to me. So, well, and you think that's like really important? Like, I know, like the the flatties are going to say they're just going to shout indoctrination, unbelievably. But do you think it, that plays a good part? Like, you know, trying to get people to understand, especially those at a young age, to learn how to how the scientific method works, why it works, and you know, see and show them that it will continue the work. Um, absolutely. Um, the whole thing about science is that science isn't about discovery. It's about testing yourself. It's about you coming up with something and observing something in nature or in physics or in math or anything of the sort and going, hmm, I wonder. And then you test it and you're like, fuck, I was wrong. All right, let me try it again. Fuck, I was wrong. It's fuck, I was wrong a lot more than it is, holy <laughs> shit, this is awesome. I'll so I imagine, there. I imagine, I just see like Einstein in the room going, ah, scheisse. Exactly, <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, and, and that's the thing, that's the glorious thing about science. It's like when Dan was bleeding, oh yeah, you know, science would be so much better if it just said, I don't know. Fucker, we say, I don't know all the fucking time. The issue is that they don't accept I don't know as a exactly. answer. Ex fucking exactly. Thank you, frustrated. That's the thing. They want science to say I don't know 
when science says, I don't know, they come right back and say, well, you're a scientist. You should know. You're indoctrinated. It's like, fuck you, man. It's yeah. like, they lit- literally, science teaches you critical thinking skills to the point where you can accept that you're wrong, mm-hmm. which is amazing. I, the problem, like, uh, though, is when you get too ensconced in a specific field and you believe you've researched everything and then it goes all to shit because there are plenty of scientists out there yeah. that are shit bags that have no concept of the evolving world around them in their particular science. And like the sellouts and answers in Genesis. Oh my God. Um, uh, yeah. They, I, did I, did I, 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 you, I am so well, I am so well, if you think about it, time. answers in answers in Genesis, all they do is they're paid to not understand shit. Right. So all they do is keep misrepresenting everything that there is to know about science, just so that way they keep that income coming in. Well, that's why they came so, up with their arguments not to use. It's because um, they got their asses handed to right. them so many yeah. times. So I, I know some like, of those folks. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's, yeah, I, yeah, I know some of them, and, and they're all different. I mean, some of them are really quite difficult to deal with. There's one or two who are actually not so bad, and they try to use the scientific method as much as they can, but they get stuck because they cannot accept anything except their interpretation of Scripture. Right. And, you mean, and, and then you're stuck can't because you, you can't go anywhere after that. I'm but curious, I, I, I very, and and if I can, sorry. sorry, but I just want to yeah. say one thing since frustrated with you, Sierra, I should have said sooner. Thank you so much for the sub, man. I'm glad. Oh yeah, not a problem. I hope you get some laugh out of my content. I will have to check it out later. But I'm curious, no uh, Ty, what, what is how much credence do you give to the idea that some of the stories in the Bible and some of the uh, experiences that people purported could have been drug induced? <laughs> some some no people idea. make this claim, right? That you I know. Have no like, idea. No, I don't know. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I mean so not reading reading Revelations is a little bit of a, of a trippy experience. I, I mean, even some people have like surmised that uh, I think manna in the Bible when the Israelites were marching around in the desert there was some kind of magic mushrooms, mushrooms and they uh, I don't I don't know I, I burning bushes and all that stuff because they were all tripping out. Yeah. It's, if, it's you actually read not, if you actually read Revelation, if you actually read Revelation, it reads like a bad mushroom trip. Well, the, there was an early uh, oh. the, there was an early Christian cult who actually believed that that Jesus was just a vision and that he he was yeah. not uh, corporeal mm-hmm. at all. That's mm-hmm. right. But I wanted to add something to what Trevor said about the scientific method, which is important and. I, I don't, I'm probably by far the oldest guy here, so I don't know if any of you have ever heard of an incident that occurred when the Beatles were very hot, which was that some somebody spread rumors that Paul McCartney was dead. Does that? Yeah, with the, yeah, oh, with the, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the freaking millennial, okay. dude. Good. I don't, okay. I don't so, even like the Beatles, and I know the whole Paul is dead thing. Right. They so, did a mockumentary about that. You know, so the the Beatles, was okay. I'm glad. I didn't realize because I was, you know, I was a youngster. Well, not a youngster. I was, I was around when, when that happened, and I remember having fierce arguments. I was in graduate school at the time. Fierce arguments with some of my friends who were nothing, who were not scientists, and they kept saying, "But look at this. There's evidence. This, you know, John is where is barefoot and." You know, this you play this backwards and you get all these Secret things. messages. And when, at, right. That, and when that, I, the Abbey Road funeral procedure. That's right. That's right. This, yeah. This, yeah. And what I what I try to explain to them is that's not science. It, it, it's not doing science. What reminded me of this was looking at those images of the dragon. It's paranoid pattern seeking. Oh yeah, yeah exactly. God. In other words, it's well, not enough to see something and say, Oh, look at that. That must mean such and such. Um, that's not in science. That's doing what the guy did when he saw when he decided to see a dragon in the in the landscape. Yeah. What yeah. the way you do science would want you have to test and this is exactly what Trevor said, but I'm using this as another example. You have to test these ideas. You know, maybe there is some evidence that Paul was dead. So now yeah, you go further and you do I don't know if you can do experiments, but you do uh, you look at other things to confirm or deny, and that can take years in so- in real science. And eventually, you come up with an idea, you know, this may be true. And 
I know in my own research career, I did that several times, and in and two at least two of those times, I was completely wrong. And you know that isn't that's, that, that's, right, that isn't that a great that's feeling though. Isn't well, yeah, when I realized, yeah, I mean, I published two papers, one to publish the idea and the next one to say, well, I was wrong. So that yeah, that, that yeah. I, mean, I enjoy so finding weird. that I'm wrong because it's just an opportunity to be right about something else, right? Yeah. To, to I, well, I, 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 I completely agree. I will fully admit when I'm wrong. Every, but, time, you're, every time you're wrong, you learn. But, yeah, but, exactly. then, but then again, exactly. I just want to point out that just because you are you prove that your point is wrong does not mean that your new conclusion is right. Correct. No, That's no, true. Jim, you're, you're like, totally I, right. you know, yeah. it's, you know, you know I mean, you never stop, you never you know, stop because yeah. the, 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 the only home. way that that I mean, it, especially like 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 Thomas, uh, I, I, I believe that's your name, Thomas Mack. Um, yeah, uh, Thomas. You know, go, if you're going into the 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 debate field and into that. Uh, you know that that arena. Um, you know it's it, it. The the more you you test your positions yourself and look for flaws in them, the stronger your 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 defense will be because you'll be prepared for people throwing these things at you that you've already researched because you care that much about the the sincerity of your belief. Yeah, well, one of my you know, favorite um, anecdotal one of my favorite anecdotal stories about uh, this whole entire you know, topic here is the um, one about Edison whenever he went and invented the light bulb. And he, <laughs> oh, he learned 99 again. ways how not to make yeah. a light bulb. Yeah. Well, it I was a thousand that. ways. And they said, and someone said, you know, what about all your failures? He goes, no, those weren't failures. I just found. Oh, Thomas uh, Edison didn't invent the light bulb, though. Yes, yeah, Fleming that, that Fleming that yeah. Edison, Edison refined. He didn't do yeah. shit. He stole the idea. He like refined he stole all his ideas. He was like, anyway, right. anyways, he anyways, anyways, the story Fleming. The story Fleming goes Fleming. That, no, Fleming. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, the story goes that you know he's like, I didn't uh fail. I just found uh so many ways to not be I tested it 999 yeah, it's like that, times. It's like that. If I can, yeah. if I, if I can put it in another way, I, this is my, this is a more recent thing. It's like in that. I, I wish I could rem remember the Meet the Robinsons. I believe was the movie. Like, there was a scene where like the main protagonist, one of his inventions failed, and the entire family cheered him because now you know what went wrong, and now right. you can see what went wrong, so it won't go wrong again. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah, we just work slowly, uh, work out the kinks as you go along. Jim, what are you drinking? Sorry, uh, Shiner. Oh, Shinerbach. Fuck yeah. Sorry. Yes. I saw I saw a beer and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. yeah By the way, I'm, from, I'm also a Cicerone, so craft beer is kind of like my thing. Hey, Chris, oh, I'm from a lot of nice craft beer places here in Nova Scotia. It, I'm was, from Texas, um, and uh, Shiner, the Shiner, Texas, is not too, too, too. Well, no, it's about like three hours away from where I live, so. Okay, I, I love Shiner Bob. I've driven cool. through uh, Shiner, Texas. I have the specific uh, have a, Shiner cheer during the holiday season. Yes, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm from Texas, but I, I'm in Oklahoma now. Right. Uh, you know, it's, what, what's interesting is um, me and Trevor both have like a background in magic as well. And uh, as much, as, much as, the, card, as much as science is really important to teach, and as bad as it would be for magic as an art form, I think if more people learned the principles behind what makes it work, uh, we'd probably have a higher degree of skepticism in society for some of the more. Oh, oh man. Hundred percent. Oh, hundred percent. Oh yeah. I like. I've been They're watching. Like, I totally agree. I've been. I've actually been watching a, a new Netflix series, Death by Magic, a guy who recreates uh, magic yeah, stuff and killed that. famous magicians. Yeah. Oh, magic oh uh, Death by Magic. With, yeah. 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 That that is the first few episodes. Uh, again, uh, what I haven't checked it out yet. What I'm David's talking about. I'm a um, I'm a member of the Magic Castle. I'm also a magic historian, and I build effects for other magicians. Wow! Um, wow! Death by Magic. Have you ever stop being badass? No. You have to stop being. Badass. No. I, 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 have you ever pulled Penn and Teller? Have you right ever... behind you, dude? No. I, I. Okay. So. I was this close to fooling Penn and Teller. However, the effect I built uh, wasn't ready in time to go on the show. Oh, I was oh, I was that close so because close. 
holy fuck, did I have an awesome masculine cabinet that would have fucked him up. It would have fucked Teller, Teller up. Teller's a smart Chris, dude. Chris. Teller's a smart dude, and he really knows masculine, but I would have got him on this. So the way to fuck him I up think. is actually let him think. It, the key is, from what I've seen most people do it, is they, they know these things so well, so they want him yeah. to get caught on something that's bullshit. Yeah. And then uh, you, not get the actual trick though, right. Because you, know you only get one guess. On, I, I, I specifically engineered a... Um, I, I have to use a... I, I'm trying to use a code word without explaining. I yeah. engineered a front to the box that makes it appear it's masculine based, but it's not. Impressive. If, if anybody knows magic, you may understand what I'm talking about, especially yeah. because I'm 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 highlighting the word front. Um, but yeah, so I was I was actually I designed it to try and fool teller. Because yeah. I know how much he knows masculine. Has anyone said hey to, to Chris yet? Chris, uh, Chris. You, hey, Chris. Hey, what oh. happened with uh, what happened with you and those uh, those checks you did? You know what? You wait. Is this a Chris yeah. Hansen? Yeah. 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 Chris, I'm, Chris, I'm, why don't you have a seat? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm glad you have a seat. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, Chris, oh, what, are, what are you guys, drinking? You see, guys, wait, this that, is that why... looks like it's is it Smirnoff? Smirnoff? Uh, no, no it is... New Amps, it's New Amsterdam raspberry. raspberry. No, all right, you know, it, yeah. since there are so many face reveals going on, should I just show my mug to hundreds of people? Sure, sure. Yeah. 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 we're gonna read, uh, we're gonna read yeah. super chats, yeah. show them to get dozens ready. of people. All right, get ready to see the nerdiest mug you'll ever meet in your life. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not wearing my glasses. Yeah. Oh, there's Steve. <laughs> hey, Gaboo. Hey, Bab. Jim, how dare you? Nice chin fuzz, Chief. I like it. It's supposed to be. It's a supposed to be a goatee. God damn it. No, it works. It, no, it's all right. Um, okay, so all right. Uh, let's read the rest of these super chats that we have. Hey. Some of them are really funny. Um, oh, this should be good. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, James Harvey says that Trevor is awesome. Keep up the good work. Um, Amen. Godless Fighter Jet says Sloth loves Jesus. Hey, you guys. Um, T.S. <laughs> this is really difficult to beat it to. Thank you, T.S. Um, Cookie wait, Nib says uh, wait, just wait, wait, beat it as in yeah. yeah. He was trying to get yeah. off, but you and um, Dan just yeah. do it. Sorry. Just a uh, uh, Cookie Nib. I, I think he was on the wrong. He was on the the wrong if video. He's into bears. I mean, there you go, man. Uh, Cookie nibs. Just because it's Probably been a crappy week there. and watching Trevor school this poor man hiding in his car was the highlight of this very long week. Oh Thank my you. god! Holy All shit! Like wonderful hard Like work. literally, he has truthradioshow.com. He has shit like every week. He had to be in his. Yeah, that was unusual. You know, he gave us a shit. Oh my excuse. god! He couldn't my, even oh be in. Just... Yeah, he said they're doing something with the audio. Oh. They're doing something in the studio, so he had to do it of his car. He, so, he, so he, he could Adam be in oh. on a webcam. He went my Adam Kokish style. I'm I'm, in, I'm I'm in my shitty I'm... three three third floor apartment in Hollywood on a Surface Pro One that's like from 2013. And oh, I'm right, man. Surface Pro as well. It's like, Cassandra, the fuck on, man. Cassandra Knight says, uh, first we had Shed Rage Dale. Now we have Shed Rage Dan. Thank you, Cassandra. Mac HD says, Dan and King King were cellmates. B and G with uh, laughing emojis. Oh, man, Dale. I kind of want to do a Dale impression right now, but I'm... <laughs> uh, Trevor, I got you. Branary says... Uh, all hail Megatron. This is hilarious. Thank you, Brainary. Fuck yeah, all hail Megatron. No. Long two, live the last prime. Two-headed <laughs> Tasmanian <laughs> says we are great. still finding large animals or large mammals alive today. Johnny V says uh, Trevor should have his own TV show called uh, Debunk Nation. Also, this this guy probably thinks if Carl Ba is an actual authority. Thanks, non oh. for show. Flamio <laughs> says even Alex Jones know the, knows the Earth is a sphere. Uh, the fifth element That's says, not really much of a standard, guy. yeah. But why I don't know why, uh, I don't, why, why doesn't Alex get in on that uh, d dumb fuckery? He has all kinds of other shit. What is it about flat earth that turns him away? He, it's a line so of, that, the, the thing about Alex is that he promotes that's the thing, that's what I was trying to get into. He promotes flat earther channels without directly admitting it, and that's under record, as Dan says. Um, oh, he happily oh, promotes. Thanks. Uh, happily promotes flirther channels um, and has like 
throughout most of his shit. Um, so he didn't have the backbone to say he was a flat earther. Well, exactly. right. Dan That's couldn't. Bear yeah. with me, guys. Let me let me let's, let's power through these yeah, last yeah, yeah, yeah. these last couple ones. Um, soldier, uh, Fifth Element says he's a professional wrestler. He's only after exposure, same as Alex Jones. Yep. And Vince McMahon, he's after the exposure you're giving him. Uh, soldier of Science says is debating with flat earthers, giving recognition to the lowest denominator, aka, is it worth our time? Yes. Uh, yes. Um. Cloud. I, I'm, I'm so glad everyone's saying that's good because I'm actually going to have a quote unquote debate with mind of God. Oh God. Shameless plug. Are you really? When? Well, it's gotta be. Um, uh, we have a plan Sunday at 10 PM Eastern or on I, his channel. With mind of God on his channel. Yes. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's going to be more of an open dialogue. Everybody check that out. But if it goes, if it goes well, well, we're considering having a debate here on the non sequitur show. Well, uh, Trevor, you said you asked who that was. Have you ever heard of uh, Orthongal or uh, Vectors? That's that's the thing oh, that you need to make sure God, that you master oh, before you go I, and talk to uh, I, Vectors. I love that he says we're considering having a debate. Like yeah, everybody Vectors gets, heard of. if we decide it's okay, we're on. <laughs> make sure that you uh, make sure that you 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 know those terms. Uh, Cloud two four four zero says. Why are we listening to this guy? Fifth Element says, win the debate by telling him you can beat him up. Uh, <laughs> Bell, Belgrath 1966 says, uh, next up, Dan claims the flood myth is contained in the alphabet. Uh, Condor Man says, uh, Trevor's like a hungry fish, uh, taking the bait, getting sidetracked anytime his expertise is mentioned. Just debunk his claims. Uh, that's from Condor Man. Um, well, hey, Condor Man, if you think you can do any better, come on. He can't. Hey, can I, can I, can I, can I come on? Can I join on that? Can I be like uh, Trevor's cheerleader or something? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get you pom poms. Uh, Oshkosh Bagash says, this is for Trevor being the most badass oh. scientist I know. Thank you. Gordon L., uh, can Dan make a single argument without appealing to ignorance? Seriously, oh. man. Uh, Rosa43 says, I dabble in Satanism. <laughs> I dabble in Satanism. Mm -hmm. That was a good line from that. Uh, the only. Omega one says, uh, if incels are watching tonight, don't be like Dan. I guarantee you, you will hear, not tonight. I have a headache for the rest of your lives. Oh, my oh, God. God. I, I, I that, cringed so ooh, bad that is about, that incel, about, about those incel shows you guys did. That oh, is, my God. Ooh. I have not felt uh, so uncomfortable. Just a couple yet. more. Just a couple more. Um, we got about five more. Uh, Jeff Herman says, uh, what mastodons are not humans? My mind is blown. Godless Fighter Jet says, uh, the real question is, are mastodons and pine trees related? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, well, because oh, mast, mast oh, meaning tall, tall wooden thing on ship and tall wooden thing tree. Shut up. Well, uh, <laughs> the, the, the elephants and pine trees is the, the first meme from this. It was the very first meme from this show back when we our, when we first started out. It's because uh, Kent Hovind was making such a big deal about Aaron saying that we all have a common ancestor. So he's like, you mean an elephant and a pine tree are related? So we actually put a yes. picture of a it's elephant like, a, like hugging a Look pine here. tree and, and put it on a shirt. Oh, it was great. God. Well, the really funny thing is, so sorry, I have to go sciency on that one. Mastodons, Mastodons were heavy browsers, so they had crown teeth, so they could actually take down small saplings of trees and all that. Mammoths, on the other hand, they have flat teeth. They're more of grinders. So they were taking down grasslands. So yes, mastodons, young pine trees, hundred percent. Well, I've seen, uh, I've seen, I've seen bears, I've today. seen bears oh, and oh, otters on pine trees. Survived mastodons. Uh, is that a type of uh, guys, Trevor. Of can I just say one thing? I have never. I, we don't have any cool fossils here in New York. New York here, dude. So no, because you. No, well, I mean, you have you have Michael Bloomberg. You no, oh, you have some, but you do have the uh, you have the problem of the shield. So yeah, go to Central Park and or anywhere there's a massive granitic, you know, granitic outcrop and you've got all that problem. But there are some, but they're most mostly inverts. I believe our I believe the New York's uh state fossil is one of the uh it was the very, very, very early ancestors of the scorpions, like yes. those like the sea scorpions. Yeah. I think those things are freaking badass, by in the way. Insidious uh, Vid says, Does Dan believe in school shootings like Sandy Hook? Not even going no, there. No, no, he doesn't. Oh. He does not. Oh my god. All right, hold that thought. 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 Hold that thought
No. I'm going to finish these three more Super Chats and then we'll, we can go into the, the Sandy Hook thing. Um, I think the Goddess of Wisdom says uh, this guy is more insane than Flat Earth Jesus. Insidious <laughs> Bid, uh says uh, Kyle is a glutton for punishment. Steve is getting ultra drunk tonight. Trevor is never Water. coming back. Love you guys. Well, he's back. And uh, then That's Justin Holland says, oh, you can't uh, see. Sorry. Justin Magic Holland um, says, Steve, you should definitely smoke a little grass. And hello to Justin Holland, by the way. Uh, he is a guy that's been watching the show for a, a long time. Um, he's actually going to be on the show in a couple weeks. Uh, he is, he's got a timetable on when he's going to be completely blind. Um, he has been going slowly blind for um, a while now. And uh, it's, it's coming to where it's going to be completely that way Uh not in the not too distant future. So I'm going to bring him on oh, to kind of is, is this that. kinetic uh, macular degeneration. Um, oh, I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, I, I can't remember what it is. Uh, I don't nice. want to say yes. And then be completely wrong. Um, Justin, if you're watching in the live chat, um, let me know if that's, if that's what it is, but um, I wanted to bring him on to kind of go into what that's like. I um, want to, I want to hear that because I yeah. have this, I, I have, a thing like that, but it's my hearing. So I have congenital, uh, 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 mac I have congenital, uh, ocular degeneration. Uh, no, um, uh, not ocular, but uh, hearing. So, audio, um, yeah. audio, 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 audio. Yeah, yeah. Um, see this guy though. He is, he is yeah. like huge. I mean, like he is jacked. He is, looks like, I mean, he does bodybuilding. He's got a YouTube channel. Um, if you, you should check it out. It's uh, Justin cool. Holland, but, um, I'll check Justin, uh, to him too, yeah, just, he just got engaged. Um, nice. About, Several, oh, uh, congratulations, several. Justin. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, to that. If I may say a few words to a fellow non-sec fan to Justin. And this is just me being an ultra, like, super, like, cringy nice guy here because that's who I am. Justin, my condolences, man. I am so sorry that you had to go through that, but cheers on you for keep on keeping on, keeping on, man. There are people who go through less, who complain about more. Oh, he's you're gonna be great. Man. I thought you were giving condolences because he's getting married. He's gonna be great. Yeah. What, did, <laughs> what are you condolences for? That okay. depends on your perspective. Now, now yeah. you can go into the Sandy Hook thing. Okay, so let me I, let me well, just well, jump well, in there real quick. I guess. Oh, side. All right, side. Thanks, Bye, buddy. Bye, side. Bye, side. Bye, side. Lovely having you, side. Thank you. Bye, side. It was an honor seeing you, sir. Thanks. Have a great I am, evening. I am I am the crin I am just too cringy nice sometimes. So to let everybody know, because I've been <clears throat> thoroughly, you know, I'm you know, Danology, I guess. So Dan believes the standard InfoWars line that Sandy Hook was a false flag event. He also believes that the Boston Marathon bombing was a false flag event. And he, if you can actually Google his name, he went to the Boston, uh, uh, the fuck, what is it? The, the hearing, not the hearing, but some like uh, thing, fuck, drunk. Anyway, uh, he, he got uh, <laughs> trial. Got, thank you. Um, but no, pre trial. Um, so he actually got kicked out because he started screaming that the Boston Marathon was a hoax, blah, 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 blah. So, um, and then he accosted a bunch of people on the beach um, uh, with a microphone for InfoWars. So, yeah, he is absolutely 100% one of those false flaggers. And I'm really happy that didn't come up because yeah. I, yeah. One, I, one, did not want to get into a Second Amendment battle with him because mm. he's a hardcore noser about that. And two, um, um, yeah. Well, well, we would have kicked him off if he'd have brought up the Sandy Hook thing because we have a I'm very sure. strict. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to say about this. Disrespecting yeah. uh, people. He's a 9 11 hoaxer. He's a Boston Marathon oh, hoaxer. Yeah. He's a Sandy Hook hoaxer. Yeah. There's. Yeah. I, of, um, of all of those things, I let him have his 9 11. I fell for that for a little while, way, 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 way back when it first happened. Um, but, you know, I, like. I don't even. I'm surprised I didn't I fall. Excuse I, 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 I don't even remember. 9-11 i was i was a baby when it happened i don't remember jack all oh. my friend's desk got hit by a plane that's oh. why that's my point on 9-11 and that's all i'm, I'm about it. i'm my, yeah. trevor can i trevor i'm so sorry i wish i could like 
So yeah, I knew some people that were in the buildings as well after the fact. Uh, yeah. I I went to oh Santa Fe God. High School, the uh, the high school that just uh, last year had a uh, high school shooting, and yeah. I live currently a town over from Santa Fe, and it was one of the things that I have, if he were, if someone were to say that that was a hoax, I, I wouldn't be able to ki- uh, keep my cool because there, it, it was a major thing that struck our little community. And yeah, that just would have utterly pissed me off. I yeah, completely uh, agree. Frustrated atheist. Like that, that's um, why I didn't bring made- that up. Uh, well, a few things I want to bring up here. One, I wish I could, I, like, this is how mushy I am. I wish I could, like, hug you guys, you know, because I'm just so incredibly sorry about that. For what you Are you Canadian? Talking? No, I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> but I live in you, upstate. You should sign up. You'd fit right in. I know, right? right. I'll have to work <laughs> you mean my I know, accent, hey, hey. And I have to learn hockey. No, no, I'm, I'm particular with my A's. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, gotcha. My but bad. You have to say My sorry bad. in a boot. No, it's not a boot. Well, we don't it's say a boot. boot. It's I'm not. sorry, but what are you it's talking about? about? <laughs> sorry, sorry, or Toronto. That yeah, okay, but no, but I'm it's sorry. It's it's about. It's not a boot. I'm sorry. I just want to out. Yeah, the a boot okay. thing is really right. a myth. Like, there's a yeah. very small select group of people who do that. Yeah, is anyone else the, uh, in the live chat is watching now have any questions for uh, Trevor? We're going to be wrapping up uh, here uh, shortly. So, oh, yeah, I, mean, oh, darn. I guess I joined too late. I had a lot of, I had a lot of like talking uh, points. Oh well. Well, but this was I still amazing. Be, you got to go easy I, on the the. Uh, the me me and Steve have to sit at these chairs for uh, like hours, four hours a day, every day. We uh, true. You got to take well, it easy. I, on I, us. I, I just want to ask, uh, and I'm making dinner ask, actually. <laughs> I just want to ask one question. I, um, yep. Being that I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, fossils and dinosaurs and all that good stuff, I just want to know, Trevor, mm. is there any chance that you're going to be anywhere near Houston? Hmm. Um, possibly in September when I do my two week drive to Dragon Con and back. Hmm. Okay, because that would be very awesome to meet up and be able to. Uh, discuss a lot of the different topics like that because you're driving I yeah I'm, I, I have a new truck i'm gonna drive it to atlanta and back i'm gonna take 40 out and 10 back i am too i'm, I'm driving too oh really uh nice yes. uh, trevor do, could any of the misidentified giant bones be uh gigantopithecus no Cool. All right, guys. Uh, ask Trevor if he will be able to recover brain cells after his exchange with Don. I'm going to say no to that one too. No, um, that's. Uh, cut yeah, I'm gonna Here's a question: Do any of you watch yeah, Game of Thrones? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I almost wore my Stark jersey tonight, but instead, Hell yeah. the Roughnecks, baby. Does anyone I have uh, anyone have a prediction I, of of uh, how it's going to uh, end? I'm just curious. We're getting a Targaryen uh, baby. Well, that, yeah, um, that's. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, okay. that's, that's so, I'm thinking that that Brant is the Night King. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm I sorry agree. to interrupt. I, I agree. I'm, I'm gonna have to head off. My doctor's telling me to go somewhere not pleasant. Okay. All right. right. Have fun right. in Upside Down Aussie Land. Um, Trevor, I, 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 this. I, the season's I, I, gonna I, be extra short because they're gonna show half of it from one perspective, and they're gonna basically say, if you want to know what happened on the other half, you have to read the book. No. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Be, yeah. If they do that, oh. I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be the I same amount of time uh, as the the other seasons. They're just breaking them up into uh, instead of uh, I think. I know they're longer episodes, but I still yeah, think they're longer. Uh, I like think a lot to wrap up. It's like a movie. I gotta watch it one of these days. I watched the first season. I just couldn't get into it. But uh, what? It was, yeah, what? I couldn't get into spoilers. it. Spoilers. I'm totally. I, think, I'm totally oh, I won't remember any of these spoilers. Yeah, I I, think I stopped Percy watching dies. Walking Dead at fifth season too. So there's been three seasons I haven't seen a fourth. Yeah, I, I, one I one stopped one Walking Dead in season one. I was just like, one was yeah. good. No, one in what I like no, one. It deviated three, from the was. comic too much, and I'm like, no thanks. Mm. Um, <laughs> let me just ask you this. They're all talking over each other. I can't hear. Michael Jordan in the live chat just said, "Game of Thrones." Are you kidding me? Do you base life on sitcoms? Well. Michael Jordan, number one, it's not a sitcom. 
outcome. And number two, we're allowed to have conversations about things that is not associated with religion and flat earth all the time. Yeah, gee, uh, My, Michael Jones, I'm sorry. Do you think scientists, all we do is we sit and we look through papers and we look through evidence? What, we can't have a fucking life and talk about Game of Thrones? Go fuck yourself. I'll give you my recommendation for a show to watch. It's called The Good Place. Oh, you The Good what? Place is great. Uh, it's fucking great, great, isn't it? It's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. It's, I got it's a better one. Watch it better. Can pull off a sick, well, not what? a sick comedy about uh, like moral philosophy, which is not probably. Yeah, easy. it's all about philosophy. What, what Trevor? What do you recommend? I, am, um, I, I recommend. I recommend Letter uh, Kenny. If you've got Hulu, watch all six seasons. What's it called? Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny. Yeah, it's wicked funny. Now I got to check oh, this out. Oh, I tell you what, I watch that. Wait, and wait, watch wait, 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 wait. Now it's, Michael Jack. Now Michael Jordan says, "Bring me on the panel, boy." Okay. Off. Boy. Boy, uh, hey, Michael, uh, Michael Jordan, send me your email. Trevor, real quick yeah, before yeah, turns into yeah, this crazy, yeah. crazy um, fuck fest or whatever. Um, uh, how do you uh, refute the this this ridiculous claim? Usually, young Earth creationists claim that some of these plateaus or mesas are uh, <laughs> the, the the remains of uh, tree trunks oh. that uh, the giants cut down. Wow. What a bitch! Oh, I'm going to refuse. Uh, I'm, just them at that <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just curious though, like, 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 how you would approach that to somebody who genuinely believes this? Laugh at them. Well, what you do is you do something like no, this. You. So you take something like this and you lick it. Hmm. Oh, and it sticks. <laughs> It, it, it sticks. Is that how you that's determine because, whether it's fossil or bone? Yes, that's uh-huh. because this is petrified wood. Petrified wood, actually, as well as fossils, what they do is when it mineralizes, it actually keeps the porous membranes of the structure intact. So when you lick it, mm-hmm. it kind of sticks to your tongue a little. Rock doesn't do that. So if I were to walk up to Devil's Post Pile and go, <laughs> I want to see yes, that. Right. I really do want to see that. Uh, not a tree. I can see that. Michael this, Jordan says, uh, Michael Jordan Patreon says, that, send to Trevor to lick this oh, place. Okay. David, hang on. Okay. <laughs> Michael Jordan says, uh, I'll wait, betas. So basically, you're being a little bitch. You, you talk all that Pretty shit much. in the live chat, but when it goes, really, he used beta. Yeah, he used beta. Yeah. Project okay. how pathetic. Wow. Like, project more I than I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Jordan. Not even, uh, not even Chris is a beta in here. There's not like one beta in here, I don't think. You can come in here or I'm booting. You can take your pick. No, I, you know, I don't even care if I'm a beta or not. I'm fine with it. You Whatever. still get laid more than anybody else. Fuck off. Get, get your ass in here. I'm a virgin and I don't care. Beta. You can get in here or I'll boot you out of the live chat. Whichever one you want to do. Ooh, um, beta. Ooh, beta. Beta. Um, You're an incel. So, um, I just have one thing. Okay, I know I barely say anything, and I'm probably the least. I'm probably just like the barely say anything. Go ahead. Because I didn't. Because I don't want to like be rude to anybody. But um, I have found the ultimate silver bullet for flat Earth. And this is this is coming from me as a skier. If the Earth is flat, why the hell do we have mountains? I wouldn't have a sport anymore. Well, they have mountains on a flat Earth. They're not mountains; they're dragons. Yeah. We've already, we've already. Yeah, <laughs> they're dragons, dude. They're Jeez. trees. Uh, uh, there goes I'll my check. Up. There goes my checkmate for the flurfs. Hey, hey yep. Kyle, remember that one that first Much episode left. that I came on for, where uh, uh, Mister Intelligent Design completely like uh, didn't show up. And then we got that flat earther, and he thought that the that there was some giant mountain in the center of the world where all the gods sat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was the oh, pixie guy. That's the guy that, that thought that the, the Santa Claus was I real. I still have more respect for yeah. Yeah, I was a little I was a little disappointed that he didn't that Dan didn't commit to um, flat Earth. I mean, he was just like, oh, I don't know one or another. But then again, that to me is even worse when you you don't even know what the hell the shape is. You, I mean, either a you're just dumber than than um, humanly imagined or you're lying through your ass off and i, I think, still oh, maintain i still I think maintain, he's a flat earther too he is a flat well, earther he's and he's still, afraid he's still being yeah, a little i agree because if you're well, not if you're not a flat earther you'd be like fuck no flat earth is bullshit i mean yeah. anybody who, who knows anything about, about flat yeah. earth would be like yeah that's bullshit he didn't yeah, see that. he didn't he didn't disavow it in any shape way or form so. no he was he was there are good people on both sides yeah it's rather it's rather it's rather can I just say it's rather ironic that they continue like these pseudoscience peddlers constantly at, tell you to ask questions because 
It's the second you start asking even the simplest questions to them that their entire like argument just all goes to utter hell in a handbasket. Like I found the simplest, simplest question about Noah's Ark. And this isn't even like going on any of R what R and Roz did to disprove it. This is just basic mechanics of a boat. How the hell do you steer that damn thing? Yeah, there's no steering in the and... well. Well, yeah, you what, didn't. I mean, God, God guided it with you hand. don't need to. There's that water. Room, the boat just got can't. himself. Everything was flooded, obviously. Well, the, the thing myth, is, the, the myth the also never implies that he steers it. So yeah, the yeah. God just like, kind of that's just, just, go that's just like boat one oh. That's like vehicle one oh one. You need a way to like control where it's going. God did. God did it. Yeah, well, you got to remember well, every one of the every young every young Earth creationist thing is an ad hoc narrative. Um, every and single they one. They could of them just say hoc. God Himself was the damn boat at this rate. I mean, they could. Well, they could. I, well, but I, I mean, the thing the, the thing also is is that I mean, if you're going to commit to the worldwide flood narrative, there it says it flooded the whole Earth up over the highest mountains. So at yeah. that point, 15. where is there to steer to, anyways? Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I mean, if I'm going to be drifting aimlessly into the ocean, I might as well make sure I have some form of control so I don't hit like a. Hey like Trevor, a, real quick before we end this, um, yeah. if you do manage to come down here uh, on around the 27th or, or a day early, because I, I might stay down there for a day or two, um, you want you want to summon Zoso the demon, uh, Ouija board demon, with me? Look at that. Uh, I'm saying, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's do it, man. I'll bring the mead. God um, damn. Yes. Oh, dude, I'm down. Yes. Uh, uh, Steve, I will be sorely disappointed if you don't summon a sex demon. And you have to <laughs> can't do that. Wait, can't, we can't why do would that. You, wait, do that in our heads as we're getting ready. Yeah, to wait a minute here. How does that work? You know oh, what? Well, Let's get those. And, and is Brittany all about this? Because I'll have to tell her there's such a thing called a sex why demon. Put that that really in that. Oh. oh, I'm gonna ask her. Hey, we, hey, Britt, do you know if there's a sex demon in a Ouija board? Everybody <laughs> <laughs> knows. Be her. I mean, that's been. Uh, I'm, I'm down. down sex over and over. BDSM and shit. So not straight, not narrow. Let's do it. Fair. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I guess since this is like wrapping up, too, I just want, might as well just use this chance to say a few things since I've been, you know, very quiet lately. If you keep saying you you've know, been very quiet, but you, ha you haven't been, you've been more vocal than I have. <laughs> Comparative. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Mac hasn't said a goddamn I'm, word. Yeah, Mac hadn't said a word. Yeah, Mac's oh, quiet. I'm, I'm, yeah, people I'm are like, get this on video. Of course, it'll be on video. We're going to summon a demon if not on video. What the hell? I'm an asshole. asshole. Of course, we're going to record it. Um, go ahead. Uh, yeah, go, go ahead, ahead um, uh, uh, Thomas. Okay. Oh, Mac left. Now I feel like a bigger asshole. No, I, no Mac's still, no need to, no need still here. Are you, par are you a little paranoid, oh. Thomas? Are you, you... No need to feel like an asshole. I'm a. I'm really need to try an official Canadian. Well, David, I'm not paranoid. Autistic, yes. Paranoid. Oh. I'm trying not to be. It's okay, just, I got gotcha. you. Okay, so you're this the is floor, my first man. time ever doing any of this, and I might be slight nerves because people. You've done fun. It. Yeah, don't worry You've about been it. Fun. Don't worry about it. Just relax. Okay. You have the so, floor, my friend. It's all yours. That Trevor, you are you are awesome, man. Like, thanks, dude. You are a hell of a paleontologist. Um. <laughs> gotta use two hands for Trev. <laughs> Hey, whoa, um, wait, now. wait a minute. Kyle. Hey, I got I uh, used two Kyle, hands, man. Kyle, Steve, um, I I look forward I look forward to the possibility if things go well with mind of God that I might you know have a debate on your show. It would be such an amazing honor because this is kind of also a, a small statement I'm doing here. If a guy who is literally going into college for history and has never debated anything, has only like sat in the sideline, is wanting to take on a veteran of the flat earth movement. I mean, he's small for it compared to most, but if I'm able to take him on, I think that will be an absolute, this will just show that they're, well, that if it goes well, stands on bedrock. If it goes horribly, you'll have an even better chance of coming on because we actually go for the dumpster fires. So if, if, if it goes terrible, Night fight. Yeah, we will. Uh, we we will definitely put you on. That is. That would be an absolute yeah, honor. Do it. Um, before we end I this, I definitely want to. Uh, uh, before the, the question is, how much derp can you handle? A lot, Mac. Say something. Uh, again, I discussed the civil war with Southern Israelite. I think I can handle a good amount. Mac, did you, did you want to say something? 
I guess not. Um, before we end this, I, I, I just got an email a little while ago. Somebody had uh, said they want me to, to, or they want to debate me and was standing for truth. And, um, I have no intention of debating standing for truth. I will, talk I will to them debate in discussion. standing for truth. No, 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 you won't. Yeah. I want a biologist that actually is well familiar with haploid groups, Haldane's dilemma, and um, various types of allo enzymatic functions to, to have a very specific uh, talk with him because we can go in and we have discussions with him. But unfortunately, standing for truth deals a lot of specificities that unless you are an actual biologist, you're not going to know about it and it's a waste of our fucking time. I want to moderate that because I can probably ask the right questions, but I'm not interested in going to have a discussion with standing for truth because I've listened to him. He doesn't listen to anybody and we haven't had the right people to answer his questions because his questions are so myopic in, in scope that unless you have an expertise in this field, it's not going to be worth it. So if you have an expertise in biology, question. what? I said those are the worst questions. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to be able to ask the right questions. No, like, I, if you can't, I, I, I know how to ask the right questions. Oh, yeah. But if you find a biologist that's, that's willing to do that, message me, uh, preferably if you have a PhD in, in biology, especially on genetics, is in haploid groups. And it will make that happen. But I'm not going to debate yeah, him. I can, what, why bother? I can't answer his questions either. I only have a tertiary understanding of that. That, that would have to be more of a, uh, of a genetics understanding yeah, yeah I guess, right I'm, I'm i was a biologist before i'm paleontology i know a little bit about haploid groups but yeah no yeah but i want somebody that really um oh no no i'm saying wall. no fuck yeah. that no <laughs> um, i am a biologist and i'm saying no if standing for truth will debate history i will gladly whoop his ass all over oh, the bring me back. bring me dude bring me along chris i would love to debate history <laughs> yeah Screw all, right. That whole thing. all right guys we're gonna wrap um, this up because we got things to do um like so, so all right i've been sitting here I'm for hours so and i got i'm gonna go back Dude. and play some skyrim tonight um i'm level 18 and yes i've cheated I, i've increased my sneak to like 100 and speechcraft like 100 because you know what oh, those are not did really game effective but what did you use cheat codes fuck yeah <laughs> Uh, somebody had a, a really Aren't good. You, you have to use cheat code too, because uh, and I, uh, we always struggle with like the 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 takeout line and the um, the intro. It's always awkward. But somebody had a really cool idea, and um, I'm going to do this. Every, since the wow. 1950s, there have been people who own TV shows that have had phrases that they either bring the show in with or they leave the show out with. And um, I have a database of that now of every sign off line and every intro line. And so we'll be doing uh, one picked at random. And uh, nice. Steve, pick me a number. Five. Okay, we're going to go with uh, Bob Ross's uh, The Joy oh, of God, Painting. No. His, his sign I love off. Bob Ross. <laughs> love it. Okay. Amazing. So uh, thank you to everybody here in the call. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us, especially you out there. Uh, and thank you for all that you, uh, you do, especially all of the super chats that you sent in. Um, we really appreciate it. This week weekend, remember, we have a private uh, hangout for our Patreons. Um, the information for the private show that we'll be going, we'll be doing for the, um, and you know what, Trevor, you'd be, uh, would you, would you be willing to come on uh, at the beginning of February for a private show that we're going to do for our patrons and the people who sponsor the show? Sure. I can, um, I can make time. Uh, yeah. DM me. Let me know. Let me know what day it is. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah. So the first one will be with, uh, with, with Trevor. So that's uh, really cool. Make sure. Ta-da! You don't miss that. Um, Private show, giggity. Uh, so here we go. Um, from <laughs> who, needs, all of us, who needs a sex demon in the Ouija board? Sorry. Go ahead, Kyle. <laughs> from all of us here, I want to wish you happy painting, and God bless, my friends.